Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to talk about the major trends and shifts in cybersecurity in the year 2025 so that you can keep up the pace with the trends and how you can upskill so that you become job ready. Right, so we'll majorly cover uh, some of the key trends such as the integration of AI and machine learning in cybersecurity as well as also the advent of zero trust architecture. So if this video interests you, make sure that you keep watching. So first of all, we'll discuss the first trend, which is actually yes. the advent of AI plus machine learning. in cyber security. So what are the three major benefits of the integration of AI in cyber security? First of all, as there's vast like n number of data that you know cyber security analysts or SOC analysts they need to analyze on a daily basis so crunching in the numbers could be difficult but through AI you can actually crunch in vast database and then if we have to find you know any anomaly in the data and proactivity can also be, you know, uh, stimulated through AI. So uh, if you want to, you know, be proactive in detecting vulnerabilities. Okay, so these are some of the major, uh, you know, shifts in cybersecurity with the integration of AI. So further in this video, we are also going to learn what's the beneficial certification that you can go for if you want to, you know, uh, become job ready and be a great fit in the market through learning AI in cybersecurity. Now let's talk about some of the major benefits of the integration of AI with the current cybersecurity landscape. So uh, let's quickly write here the benefits. So the number one benefit is actually, you know, uh, looking after these hybrid cloud environments where the AI mechanism could actually detect, you know, if there are some potential cyber attacks that could happen. Because, uh, you know, since everything has been shifted to remote systems and uh, the organizations are opting for cloud uh, security infrastructure, uh, it's really important to have a foolproof system. So AI has actually, you know, for example, some of the major AI tools uh, through IBM, uh, you know, uh, these can combat all those cybersecurity threats that could potentially happen. So how these tools actually function, they would look for any kind of anomalies, right, in the systems. And they can also detect, you know, all the uh, vulnerabilities and cybersecurity threats in real time. So there's real time threat detection. And one of the uh, best upside of AI integration is cyber in cybersecurity is actually the accuracy of the data or accuracy of the threat predictions. So uh, with the advent of AI, of course, cybersecurity professionals can benefit substantially and they can be more accurate, you know, in detecting threats. So uh, let's talk about the second benefit. Now, the second benefit is actually, you know, regulating all the user access and needs. So how does this actually work? Let's see. So what happens is that through these AI models, uh, they can actually filter all the login attempts that are made in an organization by different individuals. So what happens is these AI models, they get fed on all the behavioral data. So, uh, you know, 
these AI models can actually monitor what kind of activity a certain user is making. And then based on that, that AI model can make a decision and do predictive analysis. So what happens is one of the major upside of doing uh, this is that it can reduce up to 90% of cost of fraud. Okay, so 90% reduction in the cost of fraud right so all these ai models can help that so if someone someone's activity has been suspicious the ai models can block the activity and then further they can be uh, you know counterintuitive in such um, uh, situations now let's talk about the third benefit so third one is actually uh, you know minimizing threats um, and further strengthening the security posture. So if there is certain kind of, you know, malware or any kind of, you know, malicious attacks that could happen potentially in a system or in an organization, uh, the AI models or the AI integrated tools, they can actually identify those threats and they can combat so that, you know, uh, the organizations, uh, the data, that it doesn't get breached. Now that we've talked about AI and machine learning, now let's talk about second most important, uh, you know, adoption of the technology that's happening around cybersecurity. So the second uh, most important concept is actually zero trust framework. So if you are an aspiring cybersecurity analyst or a cybersecurity engineer, uh, the zero trust framework is a very important concept. And it's getting uh, popular day by day because of the adoption of cloud computing and you know shifting to remote work. So the zero trust framework, what is what it actually exhibits is that it trusts no one. So basically it trusts no one. Okay, so just to sum it up or to easily, uh, you know, frame this in a simple language is that this framework, it actually trusts no one and it considers that all of the login attempts that are, you know, taking place by any kind of user in an organization, uh, they could be potentially dangerous. So what happens is, so the zero trust framework, it verifies each login attempt made by the user and at the same time, it verifies it. So uh, it's basically taking over the perimeter-based, uh, you know, user access. So the perimeter-based user access is going obsolete. So the zero trust framework is what has given rise to the zero trust architecture. So the zero trust architecture forms a major part in the cybersecurity landscape and you should be, you know, familiar with this concept as well. So now you must be wondering that how can you actually integrate, you know, all these concepts of AI and zero trust architecture in your existing skills. So that is where the certifications come in. So talking about certifications, let's talk about one of the most popular certifications you can go for if you want to integrate AI in the cybersecurity skills. So uh, the certification is none other than the EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacking version 13. So if you want to know about it, uh, you can go ahead and keep watching. Now let's talk about the EC Council's CEHV13 certification. So what is CEHV13? So this is the certification that covers the offensive side of cybersecurity. So okay, now let's talk about what is offensive side of cybersecurity. So basically, what happens is here the cybersecurity professional he acts or behaves like a hacker, but in an ethical or legal way. One must be wondering how. So what happens is the actually the cybersecurity professional they are going to simulate an attack on the systems and then they're going to see the consequences. 
and based on that they can actually proactively create you know some of the threat detection systems or you know anti threat detection systems and uh, strategies so that they can you know defend the organization from potential cyber attacks or malicious attacks so uh, the certified ethical hacking uh, version 13 is the latest version of the ethical hacking certification so how does this connect to the current scenario of ai and machine learning so the best part about it is that the certification it comes in uh, and teaches you the ai capabilities so here you can learn about all the ai tools and the integration of ai in the cyber security threat scenario so that you can become more you know job ready and in demand because a lot of people they are not really handy with the current ai tools so the best part would be to learn you know and go ahead with the chv13 certification so uh, by now you must be familiar at how important it is to actually you know go ahead and upgrade yourself so chv13 is an amazing resource for that all right so now let's talk about uh, what's actually covered in the chv13 so in the so so the basic overview would be that it covers over 550 attack attacking techniques and the best part about the certification is that it is globally recognized so no matter where you are whether you are in india or uae or you know us anywhere it would be recognized by all the organizations so uh, that is the best part so uh, you know uh, talking about the eligibility criteria so who can do this it's actually uh, great for anyone who is actually holding at least a graduate degree or someone who is already working as an isoc analyst and they want to upgrade to becomes an ethical hacker and the you know a uh, desirable package could be around 6 to 8 lp you can even go up to 12 lp if you are starting out after graduation so even graduates can do it right however i wouldn't recommend the certification to you know ongoing uh, you know college students but if you are like really keen you can do that okay so uh, talking about chv13 what majorly the topics that are covered is first of all obviously the introduction part so introduction to ethical hacking then you'll also learn about the major you know cyber security threats so what are the different kind of malicious attacks such as malware and you'll also learn about sql injection Oh, uh, then the major topics are footprinting and reconnaissance. Okay, and then you also cover uh Internet of Things and operational threats hacking. So the, these are some of the few topics that you are going to cover. However, there are almost twenty plus modules. So, uh, these are some of the basic ones that you are going to go. So uh, that's all about the course outline. Now let's talk about what's actually the exam structure and you know uh, how you can prepare for it. Now let's talk about the exam details of CHV13. So essentially in order to get the certification you at least need to take the knowledge exam. So it is basically an online exam that happens on the ECC online portal. So what happens is that uh, number 1 you need to take the how uh, of we have the knowledge exam just a second however if you want to get the ch master level certification you actually need to take the practical exam so we'll talk about the practical exam later on uh, let's first of all you know talk about the knowledge exam so here what happens is there are around 125 mcqs okay which you have to complete in a time span of 4 hours 
and uh, just to the qualification criteria is in order to qualify you at least need to score 65 uh, 60 percent to 85 percent okay so this is the knowledge exam and what is actually asked here is the you know the threat detection uh, and then there's also uh, you know uh, threat prevention and then uh, all the different kind of methodologies are actually you know asked in this mcq based knowledge exam so secondly if you want to go up a notch uh, you can also take the practical exam so it is a six hours uh, long exam and uh, there are around 20 challenges okay and then uh, what is majorly covered here are the different you know uh, vulnerability techniques or how so basically all the practical stuff how uh, you know uh, a DOS attack or WDOS attack they take place so that is what uh, what is asked in the practical exam so both of these exams they happen online so uh, you know based on that you can either take one of them or you can take both of them so if you are interested in the CHV13, uh, we actually have our, you know, upcoming batch for the CHV13, where you can learn directly from top 1% cybersecurity engineers. So if you are interested to learn from them, you can actually check out the link in the description or in the comment, and you can enroll in our upcoming batch. So that's all for this video. So you can also comment down there let, and let us know what's the next video that you want to see, okay? So thank you so much for watching and stay connected.